Hey everybody, this is Ejijo and welcome to another video on my series on Python and specifically while loops. And the next problem we're going to solve is where we ask the user to continuously enter a number until the user enters zero. It's not an O, just so you can see. If I do an O there, it looks like that, but a zero looks like that. And then we want to print the square for the number uh, or the numbers entered. That's what we want to do. So first of all, um, we want to start by, remember they're going to press a zero, so we want any number that is not a zero. So we declare our variable. I'm just going to say, for example, I'll just say minus one, it doesn't matter really. And I'm going to say while um, num is, oops, num is not equal, not equal to zero. So while that is true, we're going to ask the user to enter a number. Um, so let's go for, uh, remember we're going to work, it's going to be math, so we use an int, int input, and then we want to say some things. So we're going to say enter a number. There we go. And now um, we've got that part sorted out. Now we want to print, print um, the following before I actually start that. So what do we want to print? So let's say the user enters 5. We want to print the square for the numbers entered. So we want to say, for example, 5 times 5 equals and then whatever the total is. So that's basically what we're going to say. So if the user did enter a 5, we want to say 5 times 5 equals 25. But we, want to, we don't want to physically type that. We want to, the code to work it out. So if it's something they entered, it'll definitely be num and um, we'll have another num anyway because it's it's what we need um, so let's first do that part and then um, I don't do I want that yes I'll go for that um, I want to put in um, the times and I put another comma just like that so let's see if that part works first of all so remember it's a zero that is the escape um, key so F5 and I'll do that enter a number so 2 times 2 there we go 4 times 4 uh, 123 times 100. so that's perfect that is working absolutely perfect let's see if the 0 works uh, 0 times 0 and it's out and then it's out that's fine that is absolutely fine once we enter the 0 so that is all working exactly the way we intended now we also need to um, put in an equal sign so I'm just gonna say equal and then we want the actual mathematics um, for this which is a multiplication is a star or the asterisk and that should then do the trick that should do the trick so let's have a look um, let's run this and we'll just start with one one times one two times two is four nine um, sixteen and uh, let's go for five so you can see this absolutely 123 works absolutely fine absolutely fine um, let me just um, scroll up or down and then I just want to put in a zero and that should then end um, I don't know if you can actually see that let me just go up a little bit there we go you should be able to see that one there cool so that all works exactly the way we planned so this is again a, a nice um, a little thing that you can use um, obviously you can also just um, use it to quickly print out um, the times table if you wanted to from 1 to 12 or something like that but um, you'll probably use a for loop for that anyway but this is just to work out any specific one that you wanted to work out so for example if ooh, that was not great I'm gonna get an error now I'm gonna get an error I pressed enter again so let me try that f5 so if you wanted to know what I don't know 1 2 3 4 what the square of 1 2 3 4 is you will see oh it's 1.5 million 1.5 million is the square and if we wanted to use 100 that'll be a thousand sorry 10,000 and uh, the zero obviously will just take us out zero times zero is zero um, but it's a neat little sort of square calculator I guess that you code for yourself so I thought this was um, actually quite nice and also you can see how you can have all these um, worked out like that if you wanted to number this as well remember we did that before we can also put in something over here um, to use that where we can um, just number it but uh, I'm not going to do it for this video for this video I just wanted to make sure that you know for example how to do some basic maths 
um, for values entered by the user. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.